The papers please law in Arizona may be at the center of the national immigration debate, but there's another immigration story you really need to know about. It's sort of being obscured right now by all the screaming election year hyperbole surrounding this issue, but it's both politically significant and frankly pretty shocking. It's the story of the Obama administration and deportation. The Obama administration is deporting substantially more people than the Bush administration did. They're actually changing immigration enforcement policies so that they can kick more people out of the country. As a matter of fact, President Obama is expected to deport 10% more people this year than President Bush deported in 2008. Now, officially, the Obama de deportation po policy is focused not on undocumented immigrants who are otherwise law-abiding citizens, but on those who commit crimes while they're here. But the Washington Post reports this week that President Obama has been presented with evidence that thousands of ordinary illegal immigrants continue to be targeted and deported, often for minor violations. And an advocate for day laborers tells the Post that the Obama policy has created, quote, a huge dragnet, and it's structural. Basically, it's anyone they can get their hands on. Now, the argument in favor of this round them up and kick them out approach is deceptively straightforward. Hey, these people are breaking the law. Deporting them is just enforcing the law. The problem with that argument is that law enforcement isn't a black and white issue. You don't just enforce it or not enforce it. There are different ways to enforce the law. Imagine if the federal government decided to attack the drug problem in this country by going after any and every pot smoker they could get their hands on on college campuses across the country. You can sure bet you'd be hearing about the sudden spike in arrests at every college and university across the land with the possible exception of BYU. Because most people wouldn't find that to be a good use of federal law enforcement resources. And the same should be true of the sudden spike in deportations. It's not enough to simply call it law enforcement. It's a policy choice. It's a decision to enforce a law in a way that brings the maximum allowable punishment down onto families and people who aren't actually hurting anyone. Deportation is the most heavy-handed way of dealing with the immigration problem in this country. It has a massive potential for splitting up families and otherwise inflicting misery on people who don't have any good options in this world. And it's a way of treating the symptoms of illegal immigration rather than the causes. So that's why it's bad policy. But the politics are even worse. Because no amount of deportation short of 100% will satisfy the people the president appears to be pandering to with this policy shift. For one thing, most people vehemently opposed to current immigration levels haven't even noticed he's deporting more people than President Bush because they don't get their news from these so-called lamestream media. But even if they're fully aware of the change, they don't seem to be in a big hurry to admit it. Guess what the Republican talking point on President Obama's immigration policy is now that he's actually deporting more people than President Bush did? I'll give you a hint. It does not in any way involve giving the president credit for all that old-fashioned law enforcement. The president doesn't want to enforce immigration law because he doesn't agree with it. The president is considering granting mass amnesty to illegals inside of the United States by executive order. That he wants to hold law enforcement hostage until the American people accept his form of amnesty. The Obama administration, like the left of the Democratic Party, is holding out on enforcement as a chip with which it will purchase amnesty. I want President Obama, Obama to realize that the American people do not want amnesty. Right now, the Obama administration is not taking any illegals um, into custody. If there were any political points to be scored by hiking up the deportation rate, they would have come from the right. And of course, they didn't come. But in the ill-fated pursuit of street cred with Republicans, the president was actually taking a huge political risk, too. Because it was the Latino vote that helped win Barack Obama the presidency in 2008. And in making this hardline policy shift on immigration, he's risking alienating perhaps the single most important swing vote he won in the last election cycle. Cue the ominous polling data. Here's the president's current approval rating with Hispanics, 55 percent. Not bad unless you compare it with his approval rating with Hispanics from this time last year when it was 79 percent. I guarantee you the White House knows these numbers backwards and forwards. And if Latino voters stay home for the midterms, the White House only has itself to blame.